Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today, I have the big pool out again. So, um, the little pool is put away for a little bit. Brought the big one out, and we're going to do a 15 by 30 canvas today. I already have my canvas flooded with my color place from Walmart. It is white satin. Okay, now my colors today are Prussian blue, cranberry and French lilac pigment mixed, peacock feathers, metallic purple, which is artist loft. This is mid yellow and lemon yellow, Arteza mixed together. Orange red and pearl papaya, Arteza mixed together. Bordeaux red, Arteza, key lime pie, <laughs> pigment, jasmine, pigment, boysenberry, pigment, mango freeze, pigment, and sky blue, pigment. My cell activators I'm going to use today are my uh, blue, violet, my green, blue, and what, Phil? I have black. So, you know, lamp black is getting to be one of Phil's favorites, though. So he's liking it more and more. So I got to lean in a little bit here, but I'll pull this back out when we go to spin. <laughs> so we're yeah. drizzling right now. You're so short, you have a hard time reaching. Yeah, tell me about it. I got to get my little step stool out. Yeah, I've been mixing my paints all morning again. Yeah, I, I haven't uh, seen Heidner hair of you today. That might be a good thing. <laughs> that keeps me out of trouble. Not necessarily. Well, that's true. I mean, if I look, you know, over the banister here and I see you not doing anything, I'm going to say, hey, you get up here and help me do these paints. But then, second thought, maybe I don't want you doing <laughs> yeah, these I don't, paints. I don't think you want me anywhere near your paint recipes. You know why? Why is that? You might get some paint on your hand. And that would be a disaster. I would like to have you put some of these together and just see what would happen. Oh, boy. I hate wasting paint. Well, yeah, we don't want to do that. Oh, I've, I've actually made some stuff for you. Well, you make uh, the pouring medium. You've never, like, done the paints. No, no the paints or pigments, that's, that's you. Yeah. No. Because that's, uh, it's so important to get the right consistency because I know you're always testing the consistency to see, uh, you know, how it drips off and so forth. And you make adjustments from there, so... You, I know what you would do. You would just mix it and go, it's ready. That's probably true. Yeah. There would be no, you know, holding up anything and seeing. and Because when you mix your paints, I do this umpteen times. Yeah, you do. You umpteen do. times when I'm doing it. And as you can see, Phil might be able to bring it closer to show you. It just leaves a little mound and, and then yes. goes away. Yes. But well, I that's mean, all in um, in your recipe video number 197. You also show the consistencies that you like. And uh, I mean, even though there's a science to it in the formulas, you know, so many ounces or milliliters or whatever of each thing you put in, you still have the final, I call it the eye test, uh, you know, from your experience to see if that's you know, where well, you want it. Well, and, and all of your paints are different. I mean, like your Artezas are different. Your Amsterdams are different. Your Golden is different. So, I mean, it, it's very hard for me to say, mm -hmm. oh, you know, okay, well, it's this much and this much and this much because this is the consistency. It's at the consistency that I like. Right. Well, your, your formulas and probably anybody's formulas are pretty much starting points. Correct. 
and that gets you close to you know where you should be correct but then as you said depending on what paint you're using and so forth um, you, you do go the final adjustment. Yeah. yeah, you go from there. And that just takes, I think, experience. It does. Because now it, it's so, I mean, I don't even have to measure anymore. Because I, I just know what it's supposed to look like and what it's supposed to feel like. But it, I didn't get there, you know, overnight. I had to yeah, practice it took and a, practice. Yeah, it took a weekend. You, did. <laughs> you didn't see me for a whole weekend. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm kidding. It's taken you months and months and months. Oh, Phil, it only took me a, two hours. <laughs> yeah, don't I wish. I mean, there was many a times that in the middle of the night I'd get up and go, I gotta go try this, I gotta try this. I, I just can't get back to sleep. And I mean, I even do that. Even when I was in Illinois, I would do that. When I did my love paintings, because I would think, oh, okay, I gotta add this to it. I gotta I got do that now. It's weird how your mind works. Well, subconsciously, I think you're you're thinking about it a lot, and then a, an idea pops in your head to try or a, something different technique or whatever. So I think that happens to that's what artists are all about. I know because it's so funny when when Phil and I do art shows, I, I get so many questions. They'll say to me, "Okay, now what what made you think of this?" <sighs> I don't know. My mind just went there and, oh, so you planned it like this. No. Very seldom do I plan a painting that it turns out like how I planned it. Very seldom. Now, my love paintings, yes, because I know, I know how I actually want them to look. Like when I did Bougies and when I did our Miller one, I knew exactly how I wanted them to look. But well, let me while oh, you're doing that, yeah, you mentioned the Miller painting. That this is something that she did plan out, of course. Uh, that's an acrylic painting that she did with our name, you know, in there and so forth. So she does, of course, plan that type of a painting, which is fun. Yeah, I did, um, I did all of our family members, all the last names. And it was dog. fun. <laughs> and a dog. And my dog. Yeah. Gotta have my dog in there. This Bordeaux red by Arteza. Oh, it's so lush. It really is. And we didn't even have our Bordeaux wine. I don't even think we have any. That was a very, very fine vintage 1985 Chateau Lafitte. Oh, brother. <laughs> is this getting deep again now? Holy moly. I remember it distinctly. When you were there, right? You drank it. <laughs> it has notes of cherry and leather. <laughs> and a little bit of spice. That's right. Although, you know what, Phil and I really did take a wine class. Oh, it was a blast. And it really was fun because the wine, you can really, once you take a class, you can really smell the difference and, and taste the difference. And uh, Phil and I have totally, totally different tastes on wine. Totally. That is true. Yes. Every single wine, well, not every single wine that he drinks, but his main wine that he loves is Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand is my favorite. Oh. But and France it's, has very good ones too, of it's course. It's so you, sour. You more like the reds. I, I like, like I love Chardonnay. What are you talking about? Well, I mean... Well, you do it for whites, yeah, you like Chardonnay. Oh, yeah, Chardonnay is where it's at, baby. But I'm, I'm not really that fussy. The only, like I said, the only, the only, uh, like, white wine that I really, just really don't like is the Sauvignon Blanc. And I think it's just because it's so sour. Yeah, our daughter from Tennessee and her husband, uh, for Christmas, they send us um, uh, a case of a variety of wines every year. And uh, it's neat because we never would have tried. tasted them or tried them any other time. And a lot of them are for, from places like, you know, Argentina, South Africa, Chile, and so forth. They're and really they good. make some great wines in countries that you don't normally buy wine from. And they're cheap. Yeah, so, they're, they're really good. good. 
Yeah, I love it when, uh, well, they did that uh, for you also for your birthday. Right. Which was really nice. I mean, it's, because you, you get to taste such a variety. Well, otherwise you kind of get in a rut. You, you do. Know, you have the same wine all the time, buy the same brand all the time, and because you like it, which is fine, but uh, this kind of forces you to try some different things, and surprisingly good. Yeah, they really are, because you, you'll look at it and think, oh my gosh, wow. Wonder how this tastes. But, I mean, we haven't, I don't think we've hit one yet that we didn't like. Not from that wine no. um, company that they send us. No. Because, no. I mean, they're really, really good. God, we sound like winos, don't we? <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> well. Hey, you have to have some kind of a vice. Yeah, isn't that the truth? This is mango freeze that we're mango putting on. Mango freeze, okay. We got one more to go, and then we're going to start swiping. Well, yeah, because Phil and I both used to smoke. Actually, I smoked before him, and I got him into smoking. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. And then... After we got married, we had a water bed, and Phil would smoke in the water bed and flick his cigarette. I'd go, Phil, don't flick it in here. He, because he'd forever take a cigarette and go like this. No, oh, brother. It's like, oh. Well, then he quit. Well, I quit. You 50, quit first. 40, well, let's see here. It's a I long quit time. Uh, almost forty years ago. Yeah. And I smoked for what? Maybe a couple years after that. Yeah, then, a couple. And tell him how I got you to quit. Okay, so he says to me, you know, those cigarettes control you. I went, no, they don't. He goes, yeah, they do. He goes, everywhere you go, you have to have your cigarettes. I went, R really? I do. I'm thinking, God, I really do. So one day, out of the blue, I said, because I said to him, I said, you know what? No one controls me. There is no one that controls me. And so one day, out of the blue, I decided that I was going to quit. I quit cold turkey for two friggin' weeks. Phil, Tiff, and Chris, they didn't know us anything. I said, hey, did you guys know us anything? Oh, did you get your hair cut? Oh, it's a different... I go, no. I quit smoking. They went, you did? <laughs> Yeah, I did. So, I quit smoking. I carried my cigarettes around for an entire year in my purse, in the pack. And how I really, really stuck to it was every time I wanted a cigarette, I would look, take that pack of cigarettes out of my purse and I would look at it and go, you are not controlling me. There is no way. And I haven't picked up a cigarette since. Yeah, it's great. great. That yep. was, you know, again, that was probably 30, 40 years ago. Yep. A long time ago. Because after he said that, I was so <laughs> upset. I'm thinking, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Those are your cell activators. You got the yep. lamp black and the I greenish have blue. The blue violet. Oh, oh, blue violet. I'm sorry. I have the greenish blue and the black. Okay. So, I'm going to come to this side now, because I can't hold these. Show the, how much you put on there. Okay. Okay. This is going to take a lot of cards, because it's big. So, it'll be a lot of swipes. And make sure you always wipe your cards off after, not like Phil. Not wiping his cards off. I like that blue. Yeah, blue is really pretty. I think cool. that blue is really pretty. I mean, that's the violet. <laughs> okay, the violet. The violet. All right. Can you swipe longer or is it run out of... It runs out of steam. Oh, okay. See, runs out of steam. All right. That's what I said. It's going to take a lot of swipes because this is pretty big. So I can't 
like do it. Ah! I tell you, this is gonna be a longer video. Well, yeah, it just takes time to. It takes do time to do it. Do some not straight lines. Yeah, after I get going here. <laughs> Phil and I were talking about him last night, how he always has to say stuff like, do you want to do a straight line? No, I don't want you to do straight lines. And then I just, I kind of ignore him. Oh, that's okay. I, I'm just here to give you my crazy suggestions and Oh, they're crazy, all right. I don't know why I, I think a wavy line or a curved line would. would well, because uh, help. they are cool. Well, I mean, they are cool. You you don't want to have everything straight. Well, I, that's why I keep bringing it up. I know, but you bring it up every other swipe. <laughs> well, you just did another relatively straight one again, so that's okay. You wait, baby, till you do your hey. next one. Your stuff turns out very nicely, so I'm not going to say you're doing anything <laughs> wrong. <laughs> because, you as you to. know, if I tried it, it would be a complete disaster. Oh, brother. That's what I say, Phil. We know yours would. Where do I want to go here? I want to go over this way. How is that fancy boy? There we go. We got all kinds of curvature and squiggles. That's great. So was that in your physics class? <laughs> <laughs> no. We can come back to this video if you if you want to just hold it until I get done. No, just um, I'm just because I can't go faster. So well, what you can do is instead of having to wipe the cards, just get it take a, a different card because you got plenty of cards. That would save some time. Otherwise, this video could get quite long. I told you it was going to be long. Which is fine. Long is fine. Long, long, long. Long, long, long is an hour and a half. Well, okay. I might have to cut some more cards. Well, I'm sorry, Phil. But that's what happens when I just use one card at a time. Ooh, look at that. Come over here and kind of see what, what's happening. Getting a lot of nice multicolored cells popping up, which is wonderful. Which is good. That's what we want. That is what we're striving for here, people. We need some music going on. <laughs> the problem with that is YouTube gets on us for having music that we don't have the rights to. Well, you know, so. So how how do you how do you? Well, they do have music you can pick. I was going to say because a lot no, of the artists just play I, music. They, they don't do. talk. We could do that. 
I prefer babbling all the time. Uh, of course you do. <laughs> I told him today he's getting to be quite the babbler. Talk is music to my ears. Well, thank God you're not singing it because everybody would be holding their ears. Well, that's true. Yeah. They'd have it on mute. Yes, they would. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. They go, oh boy, he can't sing with a darn. Okay, I'm almost done. Yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, you're getting, I'm getting you're there. You're getting there. I'm getting there. When you have a large canvas like oh, right. this, it doesn't. This is not, this is not little six by six canvas or, or four by four, four by four uh, coaster we're doing. So it's going to take some time. Yes, it is. You got that right. Where do I want to go here? I think I want to put that purple in there. Who purdy. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that purple. I got to get a zoom lens on this camera. I know there's a way to do it, but oh boy, I would really mess it up. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> As soon as the stores open up, though, I'm going to get the new iPhone with all the cameras because that way we can really get some cool... Yeah, I think that uh, um, the new the new one is supposed to have... Well, it's got really four cameras. Superior, no, it has three cameras. Or three. Although this, this one does a pretty good job, I yeah, think. It does. It really does. I can't complain. Of course, I'm, I'm sure it's mostly the videographer. Oh boy. <laughs> yep, I bet it is. Uh -huh. I'm not even going to touch that one. I mean, you know, someone's got to be conceited in this family, so why not be you? <laughs> God knows it's not me. Oh, brother Phil. Don't we have fun? We do. Phil's going to go in the pool today because it's a beautiful day. He was in it yesterday. Splashing around like a fish. Well, I didn't drown yesterday, so I'm, uh, let's have <laughs> I made it for another day. Well, that's a good thing. I think I'm just going to wreck this. I think you're to that point. And see what happens. Where is my little wrecking stick? I got this one. I thought I took it out. Where is it, Phil? Here it is. No, it's the same one. Here it is. I got so many sticks, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. Where do I want to go? Okay, I want to bring some of this down in here. Because that's going to go off. I like Speak that. Speak up, please. I'm just talking to myself well, again. Well, I know, but they might want to hear what you're saying. I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to do that. <laughs> they probably, you know, they wish I would uh, speak softer <laughs> and less. And you just got to speak louder and more. Okay, everybody, we are now doing this wrecking. There we go. You know, the wrecking ball like Miley Cyrus. Gosh, I haven't heard that in ages, that song. Which is probably a good thing. Such a good song, though. This ought to be interesting. I can still see some of the patterns already. Oh, yeah. I, I love the wrecking patterns when, they, when it's finished. I do, too. Because, I mean, it's just amazing, the patterns that you get. And when you go through stuff. Well, it just, it adds some interest to the composition. It does. Where do I want to go? I think I want to go right here. And yeah, we'll give a perspective on the size of this project she's doing. Oh, it's a big Hummer. It's the doggy pool, not the puppy pool she's using. Yeah, it's a big one. 
which will allow 40 inch paintings or canvases I should say so one of these days we're going to try a, a big 40 incher oh we are okay oh. Phil that'll be fun I always say we <laughs> yeah I like how you say we <laughs> we 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 Kathy's going to try it I think I might leave this okay I it's think I might just put a little bit of activator in here because I think it might just be too white for me. All right. Where do you think I'm going to put it? I don't really know. I got to go right there here. and there. Okay. Okay. Yep. I got to just go right in there with a little bit more because I think it's going to splash out so far. Oh, as usual. At this point, it looks like just uh, mishmash. a mish, <laughs> according to Kathy's technical term, mishmash. <laughs> it's mishmash. <laughs> so we're hoping it demishes. Does anybody demishes. know what mishmash is? This is mishmash. All right, I think we are ready to go. I got to pull out my canvas here. Let me just do a yeah, make sure it, quick it's not hitting thing. anywhere. Else. I don't think it is. Let me just check one more time. Okay, we're good. Oh, abracadabra. Ooh, you almost forgot. Almost forgot. Whoa, that paint. the paint's flying like crazy. A lot of paint on here. Yeah, there was. Still flying, but stop it. Ow, see what this is. Oh, wow. Holy moly. Pretty cool. You gotta give it a just, shot the other way. Just broke my nail. Okay. Broke your nail? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, when I tried to stop it. See if I can get a closer view of this thing. Oh yeah. Okay. Do it one more time. It's or no? beautiful. I don't think so. I Look, really don't think so. It's just amazing how the colors, the different colored cells pop up, and the cells are are expanded a little bit. This uh, is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love this. Oh my gosh. You sure you don't want to do it one more time? Usually you do spin more than just twice. You just want me to break no. another nail. No, no. Still pretty. Yeah. Still pretty. I, it's hard to even get the whole thing in with Holy the, cow. being able to see it. <gasps> this is so pretty. I am so excited with this. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Okay. It's really pretty. Okay, if everybody, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to our channel. Like I said, we you never know what we're going to do. Today it just popped into my head where it's going to do a bigger one. And um, subscribe to our channel. Join our family. Uh, share this if you want. Everything you see is for sale. I'm going to show some of my finished pieces. They're going to be dry by tomorrow. And until then, bye. <laughs> Take another tour of this. <laughs>